sometimes you can compare two different aspects and how they relate to a third quantitative aspect. And so it's called multiple regression. And um, you're not going to have to come up with a multiple regression equation in Intro to Statistics, but um, I do want you to kind of practice, if you have one, how you can use it to predict outcome levels. So um, this would be kind of an agriculture example. If you want to predict the rye yield in bushels per acre, if you know the acres the, in thousands, how many acres were planted, and how many acres were harvested. If you had those two measures, they've given you an equation that you can plug those values into in order to predict uh, the amount, what the rye yield will be in bushels per acre. It's very simple because it's very similar to what you just did with your um, single linear regression. And you just have to pay attention. You have x with a little 1 by it and x with a little 2 by it. And you're going to plug in right there where you have x1 in the equation. You're going to plug in your x1 value. And right there where you have x, oh, look, I put x squared, but that, that should be a 2 down below, not up above it. You're going to put your x2 value there where it says x2. So let's go ahead and do predictions. So let's say we've got a, uh, a farmer who has planted 1,250 acres. Well, this is in thousands, so technically it would be 1,250,000. And harvested 250 thousand acres and I want to predict the rye yield so according to my formula the rye yield is what we're calling y with this little hat is what we call it 22 minus in your calculator so you just hit 22 minus 0 0.027 times times 1250 you don't need parentheses in your calculator there I'm just doing it to separate let me scoot this over a little bit so I've got room plus 0 0.156 times your x2 value, which was down here as 250. So times 2, I've got a little x there, that's like a little time symbol, times 250. Hit enter in your calculator, and you get an answer of 27.25, and we said this was in bushels per acre. And that's it. It's the same thing as before. It's just instead of just one x value, you have an x1 and an x2, and you just have to pay attention to which one is which when you plug those into your formulas.